How's it going everyone? Thanks for joining me and today I thought we'd do a little coin roll hunting. One of my favorite denominations to hunt is pennies because you can always find at least something as far as wheats go and stuff like that. Now it is pretty rare to find something like an Indian head penny or even a flying eagle scent but it is still possible. But it's been a while since I've done any coin roll hunting so I went and picked myself up this box of pennies. I did check the side the, with the holes on it. I didn't see any enders that were sticking out, but they're definitely circulated. But let's open up this side and see if we can find any enders over here, and then we'll get started with our hunt. So I got this box from US Bank. That's probably my go-to bank that I've had some of my best finds at. And I'm taking a look here. I don't really see any wheat backs but I do see some oldies and I barely see any shield scents so this could be a pretty good box why don't we just get started right here with roll number one all right everyone so it's been a pretty slow start to the box I'm on roll number nine and I finally have my first wheat of the box the only thing I've really come across is a couple more modern Canadian pennies here no King George's or young heads but I still pull those aside and I found a little bit of these 2009s, which I'm only really keeping those aside to really see how many I can find in this whole box. But I have found a couple nicer ones that look more like that. So um, we have our first wheat here. I haven't checked the date yet. It was wheat side up. So if I had to guess, looks like a 40s, maybe 30s. And it's a 1953D, but we'll definitely take it. First weedy of the box, and we're on roll number nine. So I'm going to keep hunting, and I'll let you guys back in on the next find. All right, everyone, finally, I'm on roll number 19. Not going to lie, this box has been pretty excruciating. I finally found wheat number two. It was wheat side up, so let's check it out here. This one does look a little more slick, so I got high hopes for this one. 45D. I believe I have that one already, but we'll definitely double check here at the end of the episode. So we'll take it. Weedy number two, roll number 19. So uh, wish me luck, guys. I'm going to get back to hunting, and I'll let you guys in if I find something else. All right, so we're on roll number 31, and we finally have Weedy number three. It was already date side up, but it was a 1950D, which I know I have that one, but we'll definitely take it. Weedy number three. It's been a super slow box, but I'm going to keep my head up. I'm going to keep hunting. Hopefully, we can find some more cool stuff. All right, so very next roll. It's not a wheat penny, but I love finding these. Check out what I just came across. It was face side up. That is King George the Sixth. So it can't be super old, but I love finding these almost more than wheat pennies. It's 1949, and these are beautiful. So very nice find right there. Not a wheat penny, but it's a 1949 King George V Canadian scent. I love those. So we'll definitely take that. We still only have three wheats, but let's check through the rest of this roll really quick, just in case. All right, nothing there. I'm going to keep hunting, guys, and I'll let you guys back in if we find something else cool. All right, guys, roll number 34, and we got a slick one right here. I've already seen the date. And it's not as old as I thought it was going to be, but we'll definitely take it. 1935 Philly. And she is slick. But we'll definitely take that. That is a uh, weedy number four. And we also got that King George the Sixth. So box is actually turning out to be pretty average, I'd say. So we got about 16 rolls left in the rest of this one. So like always, I'll let you guys back in on the next find. All right, so very next roll, roll number 35, and it plopped right out. It's a 1941 Philly. So pretty common wheat penny right there, but that makes weedy number five. So we're getting up there. And let's just search the rest of this roll really quick, just in case. Usually we get the curse of the camera when we do that, but it doesn't hurt to try every once in a while. And we got the curse of the camera. So I'm going to keep hunting, guys. I'll let you guys back in on the next find. All right, everyone, we are getting down there. We only have six rolls left, so we are on roll number 44, and we have a slick one right here, so I'm hoping it could be a 20s or a teens, but now that I'm looking at it closer, it doesn't look that slick, so let's check it out. 41D, we'll take it. 
pretty um common wheat penny there but we'll definitely take that that six wheats we're gonna keep hunting we got six rolls left let's see what else we can find all right so roll number 47 we got three rolls left to hunt and we did find weedy number seven and it is date side up it's a 1957d we'll take it weedy number seven let's just hunt the rest of this roll really quick And nothing. So hopefully we can find something good in these last three rolls. I'll let you know if we do. All right, everyone. So nothing in those last three rolls, unfortunately. And there's another penny box hunted and in the history books. But this is exactly why I wear gloves, everyone. Check out that right there. Pennies are probably the most nasty coins of all. But let's get these finds together and we'll see what we got. All right, everyone. So it turned out to be pretty average hunt. Looks like we found seven wheat pennies, the earliest being a 1935 filly. But we didn't find any doubles, which is pretty cool. We found a 41 filly, a 41D, 45D, 50D, 53D, and a 57D. We also found five modern can Canadian pennies from the 70s, 80s. And then we found a little pile over here of 2009s, which I'm going to check for some errors and all that. And then I do keep my 59s, 59Ds are all those. I do keep the 59 Phillies too. And I'd say the find of the box was Mr. King George the Sixth himself. Decided to show up to the party, which we can never complain about that. I love finding these. And that was a 1949 King George the Sixth. So that's definitely the find of the box. I'd say about 8 to 10 wheats is an average box for me, so... Very slow start, but it ended up working out pretty averagely. So I really appreciate you guys joining me for this hunt. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up for me. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I'd really appreciate it, and I'd hope to see you on the next one.